Hi guys, have you ever thought about combining split screens with your text creatively? Today I will show you the quick process of creating moving text. Be sure to keep watching. Start by launching video vlogger. Create a new project. Find text icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Go to the inspector to edit the text. Choose the font style you want. Adjust the text size. Add the character spacing. Scroll down and uncheck the text shadow. Find the camera icon above the preview window. Click on it to generate a screenshot of the current text. Return to the main interface, add the text content. Click the camera icon again to generate a second text image. Go back to the main interface, add the text again. Adjust the text position in the preview window based on the content. When you are done, click the camera icon to generate a third text image. Now import a text image and your footage. First, find this button. Click on it to add several overlay tracks. Drag a video onto the video track. Adjust the duration. Find a crop icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Adjust the box size and position to crop just one girl's face. Click Apply to apply the adjustment. Then find a motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to add an animation. Click Add a keyframe on the first frame. Resize the box to fill the whole screen. Then add two more keyframes. Add a speed curve to the third keyframe. Go back to your first and second keyframe. Move the box to the left. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Next, we use a shortcut control C to copy it, then paste it onto overlay track 1. Go to the crop editor panel. Don't change your box size, only adjust its position to align with other parts of the screen. Click apply to apply the adjustment. Now go back to motion editor panel. Use the same method to add a sliding animation for it. Note that the animation time for this one can be a bit earlier. When finish it, Return to the main interface. Adjust the scale and position in the inspector for proper layout. Next, copy this clip again. Go to the crop editor panel and change the aspect ratio to portrait. Select the portion of the screen you want to crop. Click apply to apply the adjustment. Then, click motion icon again to add a sliding animation for it. Finally, add another portrait shot. Adjust and arrange them to create a final effect. First, Drag the first text image to the overlay track. Adjust the duration. Go to the inspector and find the compositing section. Apply the color dot blend mode to it. Then find the motion icon on the toolbar. Click on it to add an animation. Click add keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the box size and position to frame the text. Then add three identical keyframes. Add a speed curve to the second keyframe. Go back to your first keyframe. Move the box downward until it reaches the edge of the screen. Then go to the fourth keyframe. Move the box upwards. Add a speed curve. On the last frame, click Add Keyframe again to hold the position. Click Apply to enter to the main interface. Position it in the first split screen. Next, drag the second text image to a timeline. Make sure the laser order is like this. Complete the basic identity for it. Then go into the motion editor panel. Use the same logic to generate four keyframes. 
The first three keyframes are added similarly to a previous one. For the fourth keyframe, move the box to the right until the text disappears from the screen. On the last frame, click Add Keyframe again to hold the position. Once finished, drag the final text image to an empty track. Now, in the Motion Editor panel, add a new animation for it. Generate four identical keyframes. Add a speed curve to the second keyframe. Go back to your first keyframe. Move the box to the right until the text is off screen. Then go to the fourth keyframe. Move the box down until it's out of the frame. On the last frame, click Add Keyframe again to hold the position. Go to the inspector to adjust other parameters. Once the visuals are done, don't forget to add some music. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to know more about the other tricks, what has been going on with the video pop blogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to the subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!